Greetings, salutations, and welcome back to Liddy Ligo. Sharon here. And today we're going to talk about vitiligo terminology and you. There are a few terms that are used when talking about vitiligo. I've heard disease, disorder, skin condition. We're going to talk about all of that, but first let's talk about what vitiligo actually is. Vitiligo is an autoimmune disorder. An autoimmune disorder means that your immune system is somehow out of whack. And in this situation, our immune system is attacking our melanocytes. Those are the cells that carry the pigment, the melanin in them. So this pathological, patho, so, pathophysi, <laughs> pathophysiological response causes white patches to appear on our skin because there's no more melanin there. This is what classifies vitiligo as an autoimmune disorder uh, as opposed to a skin condition. Now, when you say skin condition, you think of things like acne and eczema and psoriasis. Those are things that directly affect the skin and they make you itchy and it makes it dry and things like this. I understand um, that vitiligo affects the skin. However, it is not a skin condition for the simple fact that it is affecting our immune systems as well. So it is important to differentiate. You don't want vitiligo to sound like a cosmetic disorder or something that can be solved with topical things because what we've learned so far is that right now, that's not really working. It does work for some people, it doesn't work for most people, but we're getting there. That's what research is for. I also wanna to talk to you guys about the definition of disease versus disorder. The definition of a disease is an abnormal condition that negatively affects the structure or function of part or all of your body that is not due to external injury. This is to say that vitiligo isn't brought on by one big traumatic event. Sometimes you can just be going about your day, boom, vitiligo. A lot of uh, cases have been reported where it's been uh, stress that has revealed vitiligo or some changing event that triggers the vitiligo, but we don't know what the actual cause is yet. Again, that's what research is for. Now let's talk about what a disorder is. A disorder, medically, is a disruption of normal physical or mental function. Our immune system is not functioning correctly. This means that it can be a disease, it can be a disorder. It's whatever you want to call it because at the end of the day, it's your vitiligo. Doctors are going to refer to it as a disease because medically, vitiligo is a disease. There was a instance where a medical article was dropped into a social support group. Now, it wasn't it received well because of the terminology. It said that it was a disfiguring disease. Medically, yes, vitiligo disfigures our skin because melanin is destroyed, which causes our skin to be disfigured. This is not the way our skin is supposed to produce or not produce pigment. The terminology is harsh. There is a time and place for everything. However, we have to realize we are all in this together. We all wanna find out what's going on. So when you hear those words, don't think of yourself as disfigured or diseased. That is what vitiligo is, and you are more than your vitiligo. I say I have a disorder. You're not wrong if you refer to it as a disorder. You're not wrong if you refer to it as a disease. When you refer to vitiligo, just make sure you have accurate information. You don't want to do something based off of someone telling you what they did for their condition or what they did for their vitiligo. Everybody is different. You want to ask questions. You want to get good information. Don't ever put anything on or in your body without doing your research. Please, 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 please. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you learned something. Hope you're smiling. Uh, please also Please participate in our beautiful Both Ways campaign. We are looking for as many participants as possible. I'm not gonna tell you why, just that it's a surprise. So please, participate. Participation is key.